Hello, my beautiful Geminis. Welcome to your weekly love forecast for December 20th to the 26th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to all my members. I thank you so much for all of your support. If you would like to become a member, all you have to do is click the join button below. Also, if you'd like a personal read with me, it's jenniferwalkerzen.com. Okay, so we're gonna be doing the day-to-day -day and the overall, okay? So if you found this helpful or you like this is this way, hit that like button, let me know in the comments below, or you can do both, okay? All right, so let's jump right in. Let's go to my Gemini's Romantic Love Life for December 20th to the 26th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, feels good. Let's go to my Gemini's Romantic Love Life. Let me just move this out of the way for December 20th to the 26th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. Let's go to my Gemini's Romantic Love Life for December 20th to the 26th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. This is going to be for December 20th, December 21st, December 22nd, December 23rd, December 24th, December 25th, and December 26th. Now, uh, guys, feel free to come back and tell me what happened with your individual situations on the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Okay, so let's see what the influence is here and what's causing this, what's making this happen. How does this person feel about you? And this is your advice. And this is the outcome. Now, remember with this card, it doesn't have to be somebody that you're with, okay? It could just be somebody that you wanna know about how do they feel about you, okay? So now we got on the 20th. As you guys can see, it's a pretty extensive reading. I'm gonna add more cards on top of this, so stick with me till the end. Let's jump right in. Wow, okay, so we got the marriage card. Okay, we have the marriage card. Now for me, this is a card like the ring card energy. Okay, so there's some kind of commitment, engagement or marriage involved on this day. Okay, uh, the card itself says you're attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. So obviously it's towards a committed situation, okay, on this day, or there's a sense of a commitment, there's a coming together, that's what I feel like, there's two people coming together there. All right, let's see what we got as far as the clarification goes, the judgment card energy, okay. There is a reconciliation. Things are ruling in your favor, okay? There's a renewal, there's a healing happening with the judgment card energy. Okay, judgment is when things are going in your favor. Okay, that's judgment. Or it's also saying that there's a sense of healing and recovery here when it comes to marriage, long-term commitment, right? Traditional values, okay? And the clover card is saying luck is on your side. Okay, so or for some of you, obviously, with the Clover card and the Judgment card, reconciliation of some sort, okay? For some of you, maybe you're already married and there was some kind of argument or dispute or fight and now you're reconciling. For others of you, it could be somebody that you dealt with from the past, okay? It seems to be a theme with another sign as well, something from the past coming in here and there's a sense of reconciliation or healing and there's a movement towards marriage and commitment. For others of you, it could just be, wow, there is something really serious here. And it's bringing me this sense of renewal and healing here with the judgment card energy. And I, I feel like I have luck on my side and things are going in my favor. Okay, so on the 21st, we have the mountain card energy. And for me with the mountain card energy, it shows uh, that there is on the 21st, some delays, some challenges, right? The card itself says, know that you are protected as you face challenges, but remain cautious. Okay, so there's some challenges on this day, right? A sense of blockages, some delays happening here. Queen of Pentacles, there's this patient energy, could be a motherly energy, could be somebody trying to be nurturing or caring here, or there's a sense of, hmm, what's gonna be the best bet for me on the long-term basis, Queen of Pentacles energy? I'm gonna be patient here and I'm gonna figure that out. All right, yeah, because there's a sense of confusion here with the clouds card energy. So there's this confusion going on this day. There's some blockages, delays and challenges, maybe because of some of you could be a motherly energy. Others of you, it could be because you're trying to be patient, you're trying to figure out what you want on the long-term basis. Okay, on the 22nd, there's a proposal happening here for some of you. Wow, 
Um, so this can be, as the card says, a romantic business, a romantic or a business opportunity is indicated. Okay, so something is being proposed to you on this day, whether that be an actual proposal for some of you or something is being proposed to you, something is being offered to you. Mm. You're gaining your confidence, your strength and your courage here with the strength card energy. And you're trying to gain knowledge here with the book card energy. Okay, so there was a, a sense of luck, but there's some confusion about knowledge or something secret or if the door is open here. Okay, so now we see on the 23rd, there's something new happening here, some new potentials here with the birth card energy. All right, let's see what this is about. Four of Pentacles, because somebody wants to hold on to you. Again, another theme for this day for a lot of signs. Okay, so there is something new happening here, or for some of you, it's a start of a family, birth card energy, because somebody's like, I wanna hold on to you. I wanna, I wanna hold on to you for success here, Four of Pentacles energy, because I see an opportunity here. I see success here with the key card energy. And what do I always say about the key card when that comes out? Whatever your question is, when you turned on this video, it means yes, okay? So we see that there is this big opportunity coming up for you because somebody wants to hold on to you. For some of you, it may be starting a family because that's what you see in this card. It looks like there's a little baby there, right? There's a little baby there. Or for some of you, it's something new happening, some kind of new potential because somebody wants to hold on to you. They, they feel like there's an opportunity here. Okay, on the 24th, there is a focus on happiness and optimism here and big luck is on your side. Wow, because of an opportunity of true love here, renewed love here, Ace of Cups energy. Oh my goodness, something, for some of you it could be, because um, there's a lot of positive cards here, so normally you would read this card, this whip card energy, is uh, arguments, disputes, hurts, and pain, okay, repeating patterns. Uh, for others of you, because I see the Sun card and I see the Ace of Cups card, it could be um, a passionate exercise kind of energy going on there, okay? Or uh, for some of you, there is something that's repeating about this, because we see above that, what is that to do with a reconciliation? So there's something repeating about this, and there's some happiness going on here because of this opportunity for true love here, or renewed love here, Ace of Cups energy, okay? And um, there's choices being made about this opportunity. Okay, let's keep going here. All right, so we got the fire card energy, which represents some form of passion or emotional upheaval and a sense of embracing the renewal of the present. And there's communication happening here with the Eight of Wands energy. Because remember, Eight of Wands for uh, the Tarot is to do with messages or talking or speaking. So that's our communication card there. So there's some sense of communication, a sense of passion around it, because there's a lot of emotions that play with the fish card energy. So there's a passion and emotions happening on this day. Could be happening fast. The fish card energy also can speak of money and finance too, okay? So someone's speaking about their passions, maybe about money and finance or about their emotions here, okay? Because the fish card in Lenormand, when it comes to love, it, it says that there is a flow of emotions or there's something to do with wanting some kind of movement here. Okay, so let's see what's going on on the 26th. Okay, so it looks like you're focused on your goals here. You have certain goals that you're focused in on on this day. And because of these goals, or maybe the, your love interest is doing that, you're, you're at a, a crossroads and you're, not, you're having uncertainty here with the Two of Swords energy. Because of some kind of news, okay, because the Rider card represents news. So there is some kind of news about some indecisions because somebody is really focused on their goals, on what they're doing here, uh, or achieving something here, okay, with that, with that particular card. The card itself says, Progress is positive and personal gains will be achieved. So it's a lot of uh, focus on personal progress and trying to achieve that. 
and this is leaving you at a crossroads or an indecision here because of news of this or a sense of all right i need to take an action towards my passion because it's almost for me like the knight of wands energy or there is something to do with you focusing on fulfilling your wishes here okay with the nine card energy so we see that there's luck here, but there's a sense of confusion because of something secret or trying to gain knowledge about this opportunity. There's some kind of arguments and disputes or hurts and pains when it comes to emotions, when it comes to this news. Obviously, there's this opportunity that where somebody wants to hold on to you. For some of you, there could be somebody to do with the past or because of the sense that there is this opportunity coming up for something really serious here, you're having a sense of renewal and healing here and you're gaining their courage and confidence and strength and you're wanting to hold on to this situation because you're having the sense of man I really love this person right ace of cups energy and I want to move on this fast here okay judgment card wow so the judgment card is influencing this all right so there's some soul searching will bring inner peace to marry areas of your life and again as I said judgment is when things are ruling in your favor there could be something to do with a the judgment there could be a reconciliation for some of you for somebody from the past could then have to be an ex could be somebody you dealt with Okay, there's a reconciliation happening here because of a soulmate connection, two of cups energy, a choice being made with the heart and romance here. So for some of you, there is a reconciliation, okay, with this soulmate connection and romance that's influencing this this week. And that's pretty obvious for a lot of you that this is somebody that you're renewing. Uh, there is some kind of reconciliation, some kind of healing. For others of you, you're having this internal healing going on because there's a sense, man, this is my soulmate connection. I truly love this person. And there's some, some romance going on here with the moon card energy. Okay, so let's see how this person feels about you, your love interest. Doesn't have to be somebody you're with. It just be the person that you want to know about. All right, we got the devil card energy. Okay, so this person feels like there's a lot of temptations towards you. So they are uh, trying to take care of immediate uh, to avoid uh, temptation. That's what the card says. Okay, so they're filling some temptations. Devil card energy, when we're talking about love for some people though, can be talking about uh, obsessive thinking. There can be really strong attachments there. And if we see it from the positive sense, yeah, because we got the nine of cups energy. So when we see the devil card energy and we see another positive card there, we wouldn't interpret the devil card energy as something that is negative. So let's take a look at this. So this person wants to fulfill their wishes, okay. And the cross card energy, okay. So this person may be obsessively thinking about you, all right, or may have a sense that they're challenged by uh, about uh, connecting with you and fulfilling their wishes because we have the nine of cups energy. So obviously you fulfill their wishes, okay. I feel like maybe they feel like there's a spiritual connection with the cross card energy or they're having burdens and challenges when it comes to fulfilling their wishes because they feel like maybe there's some codependence or there's some bondage addiction, depression, procrastination, or maybe obsessive energy going on with the devil card energy. Three plus six is seven, eight, nine. Again, it's about them wanting to fulfill their wishes. So they strongly feel like they want to fulfill their wishes with you, but they feel burden and challenge and they feel like there's some issues around that. Okay. What is your advice? We have the snake card energy. Your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path. Be careful. Okay, so use your intuition to be cautious, okay? Because of some arguments and disputes and challenge with the five of wands energy pertaining to this fresh start and new opportunity child card energy. Okay, so obviously for some of you there i'll repeat it again you guys are reconciling with somebody from the past or somebody you had dealt with before but the challenge is going to be you're going to have to use your intuition because there may be you have to move past these arguments disputes or competition with the five of wands energy for a reset or a fresh start new opportunity with the child card energy okay so let's see what's going on here so it looks like they are traveling towards you or there's some kind of movement towards you with the with it the um the playing card energy there's a sense of transformation with the dragonfly energy because uh, of your angels your angels are guiding and protecting you on your spiritual journey something spiritual is happening here okay so you're having some kind of movement or change here there could be physical travel or it's just spiritual uh, things that are moving here or something metaphorically is moving here and there's a sense of change and transformation you're gaining your confidence and there's some spiritual aspect of this or a spiritual connection with the angel card energy so we see that this travel movement or change there's they're they're feeling like their hands are tied in the situation 
and they're waiting for that right opportunity for you with the three of wands energy because maybe they're not being completely honest with the seven of swords energy um, maybe they're not completely telling you the truth or maybe they're being very strategic about things okay so this person they are, are wanting some kind of movement with you or they want to travel towards you. They want some kind of a change here. They feel like there's a spiritual connection and they feel like their hands are tied. So they're waiting for the right opportunity. And I don't feel like they're being completely honest with you with the Seven of Swords energy or there's some deceptions around this with the Seven of Swords energy. Or they're, they're being very strategic because of something spiritual there. If we look at the numbers of this, eight is, okay, putting the work or effort into a creative solution and really thinking about this, analyzing this with the Seven of Swords energy. Hmm, okay, let's throw some Lenormand on top of this. All right, luck is on your side, things are moving in your favor, Sun card energy, because of migration or change. And the, the Mice card energy shows some worry around that. Okay, I think that, I feel that's more clear cut. Okay, all right my darlings, I love you guys so much. If you like this, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in another day or two. Thank you to all my members, and I will be seeing you soon.